vision of China. With China's Beidou navigation system now fundamentally in place, China finally possesses its own navigation system, breaking free from dependence on the United States. However, the establishment of the Beidou navigation system is merely a part of China's future space plans. Following Beidou, China has once again invested 20 billion yuan in the Hongyan Constellation system. But what is the Hongyan Constellation system? Will it revolutionize China's existing navigation system upon completion? And what is its deterrent effect on the United States? To understand the Hongyan Constellation system, one must first grasp the significance of the Beidou satellite system. The Beidou system is the third mature global navigation system recognized by the international community, alongside the United States GPS and Russia's GLONASS systems, and has received acknowledgement from the United Nations Committee on Satellite Navigation. Due to technological advancements, China has incorporated a plethora of advanced technologies in the Beidou navigation system, which consists of space-based, ground-based, and user segments. As the number of satellites in China's Beidou system increases, it now provides all-weather, reliable, and high-precision positioning services worldwide, challenging the global share of the U.S. GPS system and playing a crucial role in China's overall foreign trade development. This represents China's breakthrough in certain key scientific and technological fields previously dominated by Western countries, underscoring the importance of the Beidou system. The Beidou navigation system's overall performance is remarkable, offering positioning accuracy down to meters and centimeters and serving as a crucial foundation for China's future 5G information network, signifying China's strong technological capabilities. Currently, the Beidou system surpasses the US GPS in satellite numbers, positioning speed, and accuracy. However, the Beidou navigation system is just a foundation of China's space navigation framework, mainly used in military transport, weather forecasting, instant communication, and civilian fields like power dispatch. While the Beidou system has established a baseline, it aims to provide information chain transmission services for smartphones and support other future intelligent fields, which is not yet fully compatible. Thus, China proposed the new Hongyan constellation system after the initial establishment of the Beidou system. The Hongyan constellation navigation system undoubtedly represents a further enhancement and perfection of China's existing Beidou satellite navigation system. Officially named the Hongyan Global Satellite Constellation Communication System, it aims to do more than just play a significant role in satellite navigation. Proposed by the China Aerospace Science and Technology Corporation in 2016, the plan seeks to establish a constellation of over 300 low-Earth orbit satellites to form a global data chain service system, including a global data service processing center. The Hongyan system will offer all-weather, full-time application and two-way communication capabilities, providing its users with real-time global data chain monitoring and comprehensive information exchange services. With immense potential in the era of intelligence, the Hongyan system can address the current Beidou system's compatibility limitations in information exchange. China initiated the Hongyan constellation system upon the preliminary completion of the Beidou system. On December 29, 2018, the first satellite of the Hongyan system was successfully launched into its predetermined orbit from the Jiuquan Satellite Launch Center, marking the beginning of China's future information exchange system construction. The overall construction of the Hongyan system is expected to be completed around 2023 and start initial application. Once fully operational, the Hongyan system will be compatible with various satellite functions, assisting the Beidou system, collecting satellite data, and effectively gathering and processing Earth's informational data. The existence of the Hongyan system will advance Chinese astronomical science and technology and gradually open to the world, allowing global countries, enterprises, and research institutions to engage in global information interaction through the Hongyan system, thereby invisibly enhancing China's international influence. This unique global capacity, 
including equipping an automatic identification system to receive signals from commercial ships and determine reliable navigation routes surpasses the capabilities of the current Beidou system. The Beidou system primarily serves navigation purposes and cannot match the Hongyan system in information exchange. Although Beidou can also accommodate coordinate unit information control, achieving the precise control like the Hongyan system is challenging. The inevitable development of information technology, such as autonomous vehicles and other information-based transportation tools, requires an effective outer space information exchange system for which the Hongyan constellation is undoubtedly prepared. The Hongyan system will further enhance the prevalence of China's information technology tools, placing China at the forefront of the information technology sector. It will complement the Beidou navigation system, taking on daily navigation tasks and monitoring and collecting various information on Earth, while the Hongyan system will transmit this information through its communication network to the ground, forming a comprehensive global interaction and information sharing system. In the information age, the amount of information partly determines a country's future development direction and level, highlighting the significance of the Hongyan system. China places great emphasis on the construction of the Hongyan constellation system, making it the country's largest national-level commercial space project in terms of investment. The project is undertaken by the China Satellite Mobile Communication Company, with the first phase of the project exceeding an investment of 20 billion yuan. Although China has ample financial resources, an initial investment exceeding 20 billion yuan in a project is rare, signifying the national importance placed on the Hongyan system's construction. Additionally, the country will invest more funds in the future to complete the Hongyan system's construction and is actively building information bases across China to ensure the system's operational conditions are met upon completion. With strong national support, the completion of the Hongyan system is inevitable. China's proposal of the Hongyan constellation system already places it at a world-leading level. However, Western countries will not easily allow China to complete the construction of the Hongyan system. They have proposed similar plans. Elon Musk of the United States ambitiously plans to build his own global information communication network, while British communication companies aim to establish a global information sharing mechanism in outer space, seeking to dominate future space and information sectors. The development of information technology is inevitable and represents the trend of future technological development, a country that can dominate the information and outer space technology sectors will inevitably have more influence in the international community. Therefore, European and American countries are technically on par with China. However, there is no need to worry, as China's development speed is undoubtedly the fastest. China has already gained a significant advantage in satellite navigation, with unparalleled construction speed and technological development in satellite navigation systems worldwide. In just a few decades, China has caught up with the foundational accumulation of Western countries over five to six decades. Most of China's satellite navigation system components are now fully domestically produced, eliminating the need for foreign imports. The speed of China's navigation technology development from scratch is historically rare. Eight years ago, China began planning the Hongyan system, providing extensive policy and financial support for its construction. Western countries find it challenging to concentrate efforts on building a global information network interaction system like China. Nearly 20 years ago, countries proposed building their satellite navigation systems, landing on the moon and exploring Mars, but only China has put these space research plans into practice. China's plans often have sustainable executability and continuity, unlike Western countries, which struggle to formulate long-term development plans due to their domestic systems. China's system and national conditions make it easier and more capable of building a global information interaction system than European countries, and the future of the Hongyan system is undoubtedly optimistic.